Hi friends, it's sweet Melissa and Yippee. Hi behind me. It's wine time. Ooh. Cheers, Pete. And it's dinner time too. I'm making pizza. My favorite thing to make. And it seems like you guys really enjoy seeing my pictures that I put on Facebook of the pizza whip that we either almost ate <laughs> or if I remember to take it before we eat, have eaten it. So I thought I would bring you along with me on making pizza tonight. So tonight's pizza is an easy one. I had leftover pizza sauce, leftover ricotta, and leftover pesto sauce. So I thought I would make a pizza that included the pesto and the ricotta. So that's what we're going to do here. So what you hear beeping is the convection oven. It's ready for me to put the pizza in. So I wanted to preheat it before. Get to work to, <laughs> to this video. So, cheers to cooking and cheers to pizza. Mm. Yes, this is one of my favorites, Bogle Petite Syrah. Every time I find it in the grocery store, I get at least two bottles. At least. All right, so first thing we're going to do is mix up this ricotta and the pesto sauce. So I'm going to put the rest of this ricotta in this bowl. All right, and then we're going to add a big wok of pesto. I'm probably not going to use all of this. Let's see what this looks like when we mix it up. I also want to mention that I already washed my hands like a good cook and I haven't pet sunshine. So, we're good there. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think I might add a little bit more. You know, some of these pizza recipes that I've made, I make on my own because it's pizza. I mean, you really can't go wrong unless you had pineapple. I don't like pineapple on pizza. I love pineapple, but not on my pizza. All right, so we've got our ricotta and our pesto all mixed up together. Let's get our pizza crust. We were very happy because Publix has um, stone fire um, artisan thin pizza crust and we really like that so we were happy to be able to find that. Um, we're in Florida and Florida has um, this place called Publix, grocery store called Publix and it's really awesome. It kind of reminds me like a mini Wagmans um, so if you're on the East Coast, Wagmans is like a grocery store chain that's pretty pricey stuff in there, but it's really good. And it's very different stuff, like really different stuff. And same with um, Publix. Publix is kind of the same thing. Like in fact, Publix had jackfruit, um, a big, big thing that takes a lot of work to cut it down and get it all ready, but jackfruit, if you can find it already made, it's really good stuff if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, jackfruit takes on any flavor of what you add to it. So some people make a uh, chicken barbecue with jackfruit, jackfruit and it is really good. It doesn't taste fruity. It has like a very kind of almost a bland flavor to it. The pizza sauce went there. I hope any of my pizza making friends are proud of me so far of my, my pizza making skills and my sauce skills. All right, let's put that aside. We have another sip of wine. Mm -hmm. Eric always says, the more sips of wine you have, the more um, dangerous the cooking gets. He might not be wrong with that. There is a story that goes behind that statement. So I'm going to put on this pesto and um, ricotta mix and I'm going to tell you the story because it is kind of funny. A couple years ago EP and I were up at Raystown Lake and we were there camping with um, my stepbrother Eric's cousin also another 
long story. Um, and we were making tacos, right? Turkey tacos, because I don't eat red meat. And those guys were kind enough to be like, okay, we'll have your tacos, Melissa. And I was drinking some wine, and I had on maybe not the best cooking attire. So I had on this um, shirt that had long, longish sleeves, right? And I was down there making the meat, cooking the meat, saucing it all up, you know, and doing all the things that you do for um, making tacos. And my sleeve <laughs> caught the pan handle. And I must have made a motion. I probably, I probably was picking up my glass of wine, drinking, right? And the pan flipped and landed on the floor. Landed on the ground because I was cooking outside. So there was no saving that. None. And those boys, the look they gave me was pure death. Pure death. Like, they were going to have to kill me straight out take me down because one Raystown you know is not really near anything so they had to go out because we didn't have any other meats <laughs> we didn't have any other meat stalled out or anything like that and these guys were having tacos damn it so they had to go out and um that's good. They had to go out and get hamburger patties. <laughs> so we ended up having red meat tacos, which is not, I'm not a fan. I, I don't know what I do. I probably just had all the other taco stuff and maybe a, a tablespoon of the turkey or the regular meat. But yeah, that was my um, story about me cooking with wine. Anyhow, Eric when I'm cooking. He's always checking out how much wine is that shit drinking while she's cooking. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited about my pizza and the oven's waiting for me. So I put some of the pesto ricotta mix on top. I just kind of swirled it around. It's really good. I had a little extra, so I'll try to figure out what I can do with that. Um, maybe that would be good with eggs. Maybe. I'll have to think about that. I'm not um, a cook that knows a lot about cooking, but <laughs> Eric's laughing at me. I do my best with how I put together food. And cook it. So, but I'm excited about this pizza. can't waste any of it. Alright. So before I put it in the oven, I'm going to put a little bit of ground pepper on the top of it. I love pepper. It's such a good thing for your body. If you ever eat turmeric or want the ben health benefits of turmeric, you're going to add, make sure you add pepper, black pepper to it. I'm also going to add a little bit of this stuff called um, Bagel Crunch. It has um, black sesame seeds and regular sesame seeds and a little bit of garlic. Alright, I think the pizza's ready. We're going to put it in the um, our convection oven and we're going to give it about 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you how it came out. So. Cheers to pizza. Let's see how this comes out. EP just checked the pizza for me and it's almost done. It looks really good. It smells really good too. I posted some pictures of the pizzas that I made for EP and I and you guys really seem to enjoy those pizzas. A couple of you said I should make a uh, cookbook. Okay. Well, let me tell you. I get a lot of my recipes from Pinterest. That's my favorite place to get recipes. And the last pizza that I made was a Pinterest um, 
recipe and it was for Thai chicken pizza and it was delish. So I do eat chicken. Um, try not to eat a lot of it, but I do eat chicken. So this is almost done. We just checked it. It looks really yummy and the cheese is just starting to get a little bubbly and a little bit brown on the edges, which I really like um, cheese. I like it to be melted just right. EP is over here laughing at me because he knows I'm a little mouse and I like cheese. 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 Like EP like is the um, pizza getter outer of the oven guy and he's also the cutter. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god, there goes my family. Look at that, that looks amazing. EP, are you gonna slice it? I can. Right. Be careful, don't get your hand around. Oh my god, you're getting rammy. EP, calm down, I know you're hungry. You're getting a little ram malicious over here. Why don't you go straight across with your cutting? You no, no, no. I'm just asking. Okay, friends. EP, Ready for some pizza? Yep. All Let's right. Eat. Let's eat. Okay, who else in the world always tries to eat their pizza? As soon as it comes out of the oven, then they end up burning their mouth. Raise your hands. That'll make two of us. And probably a couple other thousand of us, too. What do you think, EP? How's it smell? Smells good. Looks good. Smells good. Looks good. Patience is a virtue. Okay. We had talked about this before, about putting the pizza in the convection oven on the pan. EP just said that the crust is not very crunchy. So maybe next time what I'm going to do, because I'm not making the crust, I'm just buying store-bought crust. Of course, you saw that. But maybe what I'm going to do next time is put that um, pizza crust in the oven for just a couple more minutes. Just cook it. But it's really hard to cook it in the convection oven with that tiny rack. We're still working out the convection oven and the little nuances of it. EP thinks that I can put that pizza oh, I did in the there. Ones. What? I did the frozen ones. Oh, he's telling me a new thing I didn't know. <laughs> He just said to me, that's how I did the fro frozen ones. Well, I, well we I cooked it right, the crust and everything. Um, it said if you want a crispier crust, which is, I think, what EP prefers, to cook it on the rack in the oven, not on a sheet. Um, if you want a softer crust, cook it on a sheet. So one of us likes it one way and one of us likes it the other way. And I'm not sure how to find the middle. But I'm going to work on that. But so far, I'm not sure how I'm going to... I'm rating this pizza. If I really think it's really good or if I... I'm just not sure. It's okay. The Thai pizza... Thai chicken pizza was much more tasty. So, maybe too much for... I don't know. What do you think, EP? It's all right. I'm hungry. I'll eat anything. Oh my god. I don't know what to say about that. I can't help someone who's hungry and will eat anything. I will not. Even if I'm hungry, I will not eat anything. Okay, I gave it a minute, and it's actually really good. The first bite, I was like, mm, I don't know. It might be a too overpowering with the ricotta. Um, but actually, it's really good. I like it. So I would put this in my cookbook if I was going to have one. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll have a cookbook. Wouldn't that be fun? Sweet Melissa, Sweet Melissa's cookbook. It'd probably be filled with a lot of sugary oh, that's things. Good, that's good. <laughs> sugary things and pizza. That that might be a good cookbook. I think you should try this recipe and see what you think. See if you like it, and then let me know. Okay. Peace, love, and joy. Bye. Thanks for watching today, friends. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
don't forget, every time someone subscribes, Sunshine gets a biscuit. <coughs> Hope to see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye.